Okay guys, what's going on? I thought I'd come out here and I gotta cover my bike up tonight before it rains. I thought I'd come out here and do a quick walk around and some of the things I've done to us since I got here and I guess we can start right here. Uh, this rack is a uh, uh, precision motorcycle racks or PMR racks and um, it just mounts right on top of the rack that I have on there, motorcycle already. And if you see th this lip on the side is facing down and this one's kind of curved up. You can actually flip this around to where the edges are up and this one's pointing down. The choice is up to you, really. And um, so it's a lot wider, as you can see, than the, than the uh, factory rack. Uh, the dimensions are it's uh, 22 inches wide by 13 inches uh, that way. So um, I'm liking it. My backpack fits on there perfectly, and I have no complaints with it at all. Um, another thing I've added here is the... Um, uh, these crash bars right here are from, uh, let me th I think if I can, oh yeah, dirt tracks. These are dirt tracks side crash bars. And I put them on there because I'm probably going to be picking at some point um, some soft luggage. And I figured the soft luggage I'm going to get is, um, uh, shoot, I can't remember the name brand now, but it's uh, Moscow Moto, I think is what they are. Yes, yeah, the Moscow Moto bags. It came, I think it's the 80 liter, whatever the, the, the model. but. That way they can hang down the sides here and not scuff up the plastics. It'll kind of protect it. And these also protect the bike in case of a, of a tip over. Um, I've also um, installed uh, some Tusk foot pegs right here. Uh, I love them. They're a lot wider than the uh, stock ones and they're grip. So you don't have to worry about slipping off the rubber part of them. And um, I've also got a, this is a, a ricochet skid plate. Oh, that's a big hunk of metal right there. You can see it goes all the way around. That really does um, protect the bottom part of the motorcycle. And I've got uh, SW Motec um, crash bars. I like them quite a bit too. And um, actually, in reference to these, I'll get to the other side. I'll talk about it. Hold on. Let's see what else have I added. Oh, I've got the uh, double take mirrors. Um, hey, hey, what's going on, guys? I like these a lot. I did have to get the risers for this, but. If you notice with it, with the uh, Madstad windshield, which I've also added on to it, this kind of, the handguard kind of taps it a little bit right there at full flex. So I have to get away from that at some point. I suppose, I suppose that I could um, uh, adjust them a little bit to keep, keep it from tapping that, but it's no big deal. You don't tap that very much anyway. Let's see here. I've got the IMS shifter and as you can see, it does, scratch the the the, uh, the case a little bit and um i just watched the video and see it's kind of close right there it's not digging in but it's just scuffing the paint up um box of chocolates another youtuber with a, a new klr just bought some lowering pegs or a uh, lowering mounts for his foot pegs and so it kind of brings them back and down a little bit so the stock shifter um you can get your foot under it and i'm thinking about ordering them and going back to my stock shifter after watching him I've also got a battery um, tender connected here, and uh, that's just for plugging it up in the winter time. And uh, I don't have a center stand, and um, they got double take mirror on both sides. I don't have any any fancy um, dashes yet, the lower or the upper KLR dash. I do have um, some two-inch rocks risers right here, which help. I'm kind of a tall guy. I'm all, I'm six one. And um, I got some really long arms, which helps, but it's easier to stand up with these. I need to trim this. Uh, with these risers under the handlebars. And the, uh, I've got the, uh, the Madstad windshield. And I really love this thing right here. It's, it blocks so much wind that um, you get carried away. You look down at the uh, speedometer and you're going faster than you want to go. Um, I've also got the, uh, the Mad Dog seat cushion. And um, it doesn't look, you know, I'm looking at it here in the camera and it looks purple. And it's not quite that purple in real life, but man, this thing fades so quick, so quick. Uh, it's very comfortable. It does get you about a half inch taller off the bike than the stock seat does. And, um, uh, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it. And uh, it does help. Let's see, what else am I forgetting here? Um, so this. This mount right here, this is just um, a mount for my Garmin um, Zumo. It's an old model Garmin Zumo. Now, you see this cable here. I don't know if I can get it in, in, in the camera. Hold on, get on this side. So, if you look right down in here, I don't know if I can get it on the camera. 
Let's zoom in. This box right there, that is a marine distribution box. So it's got a fuse panels in it. You run a hot lead to it, and then you can run your accessories off of it. And that's where I got the GPS mount hardwired into that. So if I get a lower uh, uh, a dash, either the upper or the lower dash, I'll go ahead and wire it straight to that. And um, I'll be good to go with uh, any other accessories I might want to add. This is going to the battery, to the fuse panel. Probably need to clean that up a little bit. Looks like a little taut. Aside from the lowering peg adapters, I think that's what they're called, JNS peg lowers, I would love to get um, some uh, bark busters. Because right now the only thing I got is the plastic ones that came stock with the bike. And like they might need to be tightened up a little bit. But the bark busters would definitely be something that I'd like to get. But yep, there we go. That's that's about all I've done to the bike. That's still original tires. Uh, they still in good shape. I'm not going to rush trying to get rid of them. How many miles I got on the bike? I've got 1,575. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I've got that many miles on this motorcycle. Not a lot, but you know I've had it since September. Rode a little bit through the summer. Oh yeah, another thing I do have is these uh these rock straps. If you don't have these rock straps, you're missing out. These things are, are, are worth their weight in gold. I got another set in the basement uh, in case I got an extra set. So in case I got an extra low where I got to strap it down from this side as well as the front and the back. All right, well that's all I got going on right now. And uh, let me get this bike covered up and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.